Hey, 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 guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am back with another episode of the Fisherman Fishing Planet, the Frankenfish, Curse of the Frankenfish Adventure, the 2020 Halloween event that's been going on now for several days. We've got eight more left, and there's going to be some other events going on with some of the other games that I play. You may want to look for that coming soon. The Hunter Classic will be having the werewolf adventures going on and I think Call of the Wild's going to have something similar if not the same one so we might be taking a look at those soon but we have already completed quite a few of these missions guys we are down to two left the Black Vampire Finn mission and the Bluegill Skeleton Tail mission and then finally we're going to be able to put together this potion of summoning with all these ingredients and then go on the Frankenfish hunt that is the final thing, and looks like we've got enough time to do it, but we've got to complete two more missions here, guys. we got to get the Bluegill Skeleton Tail mission, which is at St. Croix, Michigan. I don't know much about it except from what I've seen in this description. It says, now you need to get a bit from every of the magic Halloween fish. Let's start with the Bluegill Skeleton, or the Skeleton Bluegill, by getting its tail. Catch these fishy skeletons during the night only in special power places, each corresponding to a certain planet. Make sure you switched on the track mission option to see these magic spots. Good luck. Well, it is already turned on. I went through and got my inventory set up. I don't know if they're going to allow me to use the bottom rods, but I am going to put them up there. And I've got uh, the candy. I have a feeling that's going to be what they're after. But I'm also going to try the old fail safe with wax worms for the bottom rods. And these are number four, number eight hooks I'm using. So should be small enough to catch these guys. Actually, this bobber might be a little on the large side. I might change that too. Let's see. Go back to home. Get a smaller bobber here. Let's see. A sports bobber. Maybe an X-Series bobber here. There we go. Anyway, let's go ahead and travel to St. Croix Lake. Alright, we are here. Now, as far as what we have to do to find these, I really don't have a clue. Maybe you have to check the map? I, I don't know. Honestly, I don't see anything special about any of these marked. Maybe it has to be nighttime? I don't know. But... Well, the only thing we can do is go in there and check it out, I guess. Aha! It looks like it's got markers, all right, and I guess you follow them. I'm not sure that it has to be nighttime, either. That's kind of good. Let's go over to this one here, if I can. Let's see, I think I can walk up here. If not, I'm going to have to... Nope, I'm going to have to pop in down here. Let's see. Oh boy. How do I get to these? By boat? Maybe. Mercury Power Place. Alright, I'm going to take a look around here. Maybe I need to get on the boat. Let's just go ahead and jump on the boat. That might make things a little bit easier. Not sure what you'd do if you didn't have a boat. I guess you'd just be SOL. <laughs> so we have to start with a particular one, I guess. Mercury Power Place. Well, 
I guess we just sit right here. I don't know. Let's go ahead. Looks like we're going to... Let's go ahead and see if we can drop these other rods just in case. Because we can put these on the rod holders. And if we're not supposed to do that, I guess we'll find out soon enough. Yeah, I'm starting to think maybe they should be they should be biting more than this, which is pretty much not at all. <laughs> Let's try taking it to night time. I have a feeling that's the only time you can get these guys. Doesn't say, like I said, but let's see when the peak period is at night. Looks like it's start of the night, so let's Go ahead and do that. There we go. And that really stands out now. Let's see. Might already be getting a bite. I heard something there. But yeah, this is another grinding event. You have to get like six at one place and three at another and six at another and on and on and on. Okay, sounds like we've got one right here. Hopefully this is one of what we're after. I don't know. Yes. Bluegill skeleton. Caught that with the candy. The fraud hook. Keep him. And that didn't count. Okay. Why did that not count? All right, something, something's not good here. Something. Maybe I do have to be in, in the center of it. No, well, let's back it up here. It's like I said, some of these missions are not very clear on at all.
Okay, I'm pretty much in the middle of this, so if this doesn't work, then I'm going to have to, f I don't know, those look like skulls, that's pretty weird. <laughs> well, let's just try float fishing for a minute here and see if that isn't the problem. I am going to put a bigger hook on here. Okay, I did cast some right in the center of those because I'm testing something here. That counted. Okay, now I understand. Wasn't real clear at all on how that works. Go, okay, let's see if this counts. Yep. New personal record? No, I think it was just from before. But yeah, you have to actually be in this ethereal stuff for it to count. They really should tell you a little bit more clearly that's what it means. <laughs> they did not. Seem to be doing a lot better with the bottom rod, so... Well, until now. <laughs> Come on. And there we go. There's our first one from the float rod. Kind of interested to see what happens once it gets to six. If we have to just move to one of those other markers or what. And that's three of six so far. Oh, looks like we got one here. Now, nope, brown bullhead. This time it's a regular fish. Might have too heavy. Yeah, I've got a pretty heavy. Let's drop that down a little bit. Three out of the six. There we go. Number two. There we go. There's our fourth one.
I'm going to try casting a little further. I'm going to see if it's just the fact that I'm fishing within that. Oh, cool. I got two of them. There's one. And here's the second one. We got them all. Okay, Jupiter. Yep, that's what we got to do. That's exactly what we got to do. Okay, guys, now we know how it's done. Like I said, it wasn't real clear on how that was to be handled. Fortunately, these guys are notorious for that. <laughs> So what we got to do is turn this boat this way and head in to that next ring of ethereal floating skull thingies. Now the boat has to be in that area. Fishing from it does not work. So you have to have a boat for this. go. This is kind of purplish looking. So I'm going to throw that out here. I only have to catch three here though. That's not too bad. Of course, that could mean that they're harder to catch. Float rod out. See if we can get one off this float rod this time. Yep. Sounds like we got one on the back ones. Number one. Yep. Seems to be working like a charm. Nope, it's the first one again. Two, three. Mm -hmm. All right, just one more. For that one. Need another personal record. So now we gotta go to the Venus power station of power place. That one's right over here. Okay, so that is over on this side. It's not the one right next to it. 
which is kind of strange, but okay. Alright guys, I am going to go ahead and get this set up, but looking at the map, I just started on this one, went to this one, went across to this one, or maybe it was this one, this one, then this one. Maybe I have to, oh, I bet I have to do that. So the next one will probably be over here. Well, anyway. Basically, that is it. What we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and continue fishing, guys. It's pretty much the same type of thing. But when this gets near its end, I will go ahead and bring it back. All right, guys. I am back. I just finished up with the Saturn power plant. And we have the final one left. The Mars power place right over there. I keep wanting to say power plant. That's not right. We're going to go ahead and head over there. This is proven to be actually a bit easier than I thought once you knew the right way to handle it. <laughs> but yeah, you have to immerse yourself in that skull-like fog at each site, but you can fish from any location. I mean, once you're there, you can fish anywhere as long as you're inside of that. So yes, you do have to have a boat. That marker is just a location I was catching the uh, skeleton bluegills. Once we get ourselves immersed in here, freeze it up. I'm just going to go ahead and take that marker off. I was just to help me keep the same place once I find a spot usually they, you keep catching them in that same spot especially with flow fishing but I'm gonna go ahead and get the bottom rods out here This actually happened fairly quickly. Other than the Mandrake route, this is probably the fastest mission. I thought it was going to be more grindy than it ended up being once I figured it out. I also noticed when you're float fishing, you might want to cast it a little ways out. It doesn't seem to work so well close to the boat, but out of ways seems to do just fine. All right, we got one. Number two. First one. Angling machine. Number two. There we go.
So far I haven't found a good float fishing spot. Let's try right out in front of us here. Like I'm getting yet another one, but I can't figure out which one it is. I think it's the second one, but yes, it is. That's three out of the six. We're almost there, guys. Got the fifth one here. Yeah, this is not that bad of a mission at all, guys. It's really well, that was a lousy cast, but I guess it'll work. I'm only one away from having to complete it, and they seem to bite pretty regularly. Now there may be, a, you know, some long pauses in between, but for the most part, you get through them pretty quickly. They actually could have done six for each one, like they did for the. Well, I better shut up. <laughs> But yeah, you could. It's not that bad. It's not that bad, really. Just need one more. There it is. First one. This should end it, guys. Yep, there we go. We got it. Bluegill Skeleton. Last one. And that completes the Bluegill Skeleton Tail Mission. Well, the boniest part is over. Now let's get the other ingredients. So we are down to one final mission before the big one. Now let's go ahead and check our missions here, guys. Now to get the Potion of Summoning, we have to find the Witching Cauldron in San Joaquin. That's where we bring the bunch of mandrake roots, the fish eyes, the bluegill skeleton tail, green ogre scale, the abano yeti gills, the black vampire fin, which we have to get, that's the last one, and then the ghost essence. And that was, the, like I said, the hardest one of all. But let's see. One thing I wanted to check here. I think you go under here, is it? Is under inventory. Inventory. Yeah, if you go under specials, you can see all the ingredients are right here. Bunch of mandrake roots, ghost essence, green over scale, jar of fish eyes, and skeleton tail. They're all located in here. So we are there, guys. We are darn near to the last of the missions. And then we can continue on. The black va vampire fin is not going to be a whole lot different than the albino yeti or the uh, green ogre. We have to go to Quanchkin Lake, equip the eagle claw hook, and then catch them using the rotten minnows, which I managed to catch some or get some rotten minnows out of a pumpkin. So that's going to make it easy. But anyway, I don't know if there's any pumpkins here or not. I haven't looked around. Let me see if I can go back to one of these locations and see if there's any pumpkins here. I don't think I saw any. Usually you can see them glowing, so... If they're already here... If they're already here, I don't know where they are. No, I don't... Wait a minute. Yep, there is one. It's one out of the dock. That one, I can see from here. 
Might as well go ahead and get it. And actually, from the boats, you could probably see them quite easily. Stuck that dude right there on Fairy Tail Dock. Of course they did. Alright, let's see what we got in here. Moldy cheese. I don't know if there's any others. I'm not seeing anything. Let's see. We didn't see any there. We didn't see any here. They stand up pretty well. So I think if there are any, I would have found them or at least seen them. This would be another logical place to have them, but I don't think there are any, guys. I think that's the last one or the only one. All right. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed that episode. Please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll be back with another episode of the Fisherman Fishing Planet. So until then, guys, as I always say, aim straight, cast far, and have fun. I will see you later. Bye-bye.